you talking about last night? Boots and all. Rolling down the street, little G way. Y'all remember that? <laughs> Y'all remember that hurricane? Oh, that that hurricane remix. Now make that motherfucker amateur like. What's up, everybody? It's your boy here, Messy Miles, and your girl, Miss Mika. And what you I are know. watching a new video of Keeping It Real with Mika <laughs> and Miles. Happy New Year. Yeah, it's been a while. I see why you had to throw that new in there. Yeah, we it's, 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 it it's really has been, been a while. A know. lot of stuff has changed. We actually have a new channel. So if you're watching right. this video, you're watching on the Keep It Real channel. So if you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Go ahead and thumbs up us. Thumbs up button. Make sure you share us right. on all your favorite social networks. And we also have a new email address. So no more emails will be going to MessyMiles at Yahoo.com. Send them all to Mika and Miles at Yahoo.com. That's M-E-K-I-A-M-Y-L-E-S at Yahoo.com. Wait. And I'm gonna put the, I'm gonna put the you. link right here so it really don't matter. Yeah. I'm gonna put the, the, yeah, the link right here. Yeah, don't listen to him. Just look for the link. And I'm gonna put it down below. Right. Um, with that being said, let's jump right into it because a lot of y'all have really been just, y'all really just been trying it. Yeah, y'all been talking a lot of shit. They've been directing comments to people on Twitter and <laughs> where right. the fuck is the new video? I'm like, damn. Every time. Every damn, time. Felicia. But you know what? It's a new year. It's a new us. We'll see how this goes, y'all. Y'all already know. Um, the first email is actually untitled, but it does say, Hi, Mika and Miles. This week I learned that I got a good job teaching in Mississippi near Jackson. I'm really excited to get started, Dang. but nervous about moving to such a red state. My major concern is making friends. Most of the teachers who are hired are non-black, mostly white and Asian, Ivy League students. I have a few degrees, and I went to a good school, but... I'm from South Side of Chicago, and I have little common. Mm. I, I have a little in common with them. Two years ago, I moved to D.C. to earn my master's and had trouble fitting in because of the cultural shock and the amount of work I had to do. Now that I'm beginning a new chapter in my life. I really want to start fresh and make friends who I have things in common with. Do you have any tips or suggestions on cool places to hang out? Thanks a lot. Sign J. In Mississippi. In Mississippi. <laughs> cotton, cotton picking, <laughs> cotton fishing, field. chucking corn. You go fishing. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, you can go on down to the juke joint and get you a fish sandwich shake for a dollar. Ass, shake some ass on Thursday nights at uh, free lunch. <laughs> okay. Ain't that much to do. Yeah, we got to win this. Um, um, what else? <laughs> no, I mean, it. Um, me personally, I'm not a. I'm, 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 he, I'm he not a I don't go out. Don't, don't I like, hate yeah. Jackson life. Um, right. So I only go out on special occasions. I do hit up the clubs, you know, on birthdays. Or if we go, you a guy. I mean, because I do go out with y'all. Yeah. He once in every solar eclipse, and we have a million years here. So, mm. uh, uh, no. Are you a party animal, so? I'm not a party animal. Every Wednesday. If I, 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 no, I don't. It's on Sunday. He fucking lying, y'all. He's lying. lying. That bitch goes out. She twerks. Oh, I, know. I go out and maybe every other Friday. I don't go out every every day. Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday miles. Sometimes you do. Y'all don't listen to him. But anyway. She a club hoe. No, I ain't no club hoe. It look like you need to get like me. Maybe you'll get some more excitement in your life. It's, 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 it depends on what you like to do. It's a lot of stuff to do in um Jackson. Mm. Couple of things. You got, what's that little bar right there about a by Jackson State, it's a lot of stuff on campus. Like if you go, if you go around the college area, they know where a lot of stuff is. You got mm -hmm. the what's their own? The Penguin. The they have nice. poetry nights and they have comedy nights and all that good stuff. Like he said, you got free lunch and I guess you just don't want to party. I don't know what you're gonna do if you want to party. I mean, for me, what well, we need to start doing because hanging out with the white folk. <laughs> because <laughs> like, like you know, every time we pass the bulldog, it be pet right there by uh. Right, but that's just like line. a restaurant. That's not like a. Well, I guess it's like a... Ambar's cool. Like yeah. Ambar was, nice. was real nice. I went to Ambar. It was real nice. Um, mm, That might be about it, though. Yeah. To tell you the truth, Jay, once you get to Mississippi, you after see. you finish your first year, you'll be ready to chunk them deuces. Because that's what we're ready, ready to do. Because we've been here all our life, and I'm ready to get the fuck on down. I'm telling you, as soon, if, if I could just hit the lotto... It'd be a lot of fucking stud. Well, if you're not crazy, when you get here, you can hit us up. We might we'll find some you. stuff to do. Yeah. Go 
Hit us up. Email. Email. We'll we'll hang with you. We don't have nothing to do. As you can see, nothing. this is what we do. We got shit to do. We don't have nothing to do. All we do is eat, watch TV. <laughs> like my mama said, I was trying to find a goddamn hamburger. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we do. That's, that's All what we the damn do. time. So, so, hey. Hopefully, you find something um, you're with your new colleagues, wherever you're teaching at. You're teaching in Jackson. That right there is going to be fucked up. I hope you got a second job. Uh, <laughs> I hope you didn't call because these bad at children. Nah. Yeah. They disrespectful. They don't listen. They you don't mind. You might lose your job because you might be ready to kick somebody Keep in. your gun on you and, and a taser because these children are stupid. Oh. Problems. Oh, Lord. Gay problems. Hey, what's up, y'all? First off, I want to say I love your videos. Y'all be having me rolling. Okay. Anywho, <laughs> I've been with this female, in parentheses, stud, for about a year and some change. She was the first female I've ever been with. You might as well say she turned me out. LOL. I'm in love with her and couldn't imagine not having her in my life. But the whole time we've been together, she was lying and keeping shit from me. Even lied about her middle name. She <laughs> oh, <laughs> lied about a middle name? Damn. So, I know it's childish to get mad over someone for lying about their middle name, but who the fuck does that? Shaking my head. And the fucked up thing is she always said I was going to be the one to fuck up and do her wrong because I'm younger than she is. But I was always good to her and she's the one who's being childish and she is just too grown for this shit. Oh, God, this is a lot of shit. <laughs> <sighs> this girl done hurt me so bad so many times and she even admitted, admitted that she took advantage of my love for her. But I still love her and can't help it. She has changed a lot in a good way, but now the tables have turned. I never lied to her or cheated on her, but I've been really mean and a real bitch. And now our relationship is falling apart. I'm just 18, <clears throat> and I have a lot of stuff I want to do. She wants me to be wifey type, but I'm just not ready. I'm a party girl. I like to club and party and wild out. I guess that's supposed to be and shit like that. She has told me plenty of times that she wants an older woman and that she's ready to settle down. And she always made every little excuse for us to break up. But I always end up taking her back. She knew how old I was when she got with me, but she complains about me being young when I'm more mature than her. I want to leave so... Oh, God. <laughs> I want to leave so bad, but the sex is so good. Laugh my ass off. And I don't want another bitch to take my place. Baby what y'all think? Baby scissoring me. <laughs> and tri trimming. What you call it? Scissoring. <laughs> scissoring and... Look, look, look. First of all, girl, you 18. So if you break up with this bitch, it's if you break up with Manny Fresh, if you break up with Manny Fresh, <laughs> it's going to be more Manny Fresh than the sea. He got his bitch. Uh, like, uh, what, oh, who was the one you saw about last night? Boots and mama. <laughs> Rolling down the little G way. Y'all remember that? <laughs> Y'all remember that Hurricane Chris? Oh, that that Hurricane really? Chris remix? And Boots and mama yeah. came out there. Rolling down. That was not Boosie Mama. That bitch looked just like the Boosie. That lady was not Boosie Mama. She had a goddamn bandana. She had on them white muscle shirt. Thug. She can't do that bitch she jamming. She again. Oh, man. Girl, you 18 years old. If if that bitch older than you and she don't want to be with you and she want to find her wife type, tell that bitch to hit the, the yellow brick road like Dorothy and told on them, you got your whole life to settle down. It, don't feel bad because you want to party. Don't feel bad because you want to be a wife. You 18. That's what the right, fuck you're supposed, you're supposed to do. To do right. You're supposed to live. This old bitch now already been See, she did outside. it right. You did it. So you now she's ready to start around. Everything you want to do. My now you want to stifle what I want to do. Come my on. thing is, I guess y'all can have fun together, but I wouldn't get too serious and too wrapped up with this bitch. And if right. you don't feel like you want to be in a relationship with her or it's just not working out and just causing problems, go on end that shit now. Before it get any worse, so don't end this five, shit. Six, seven Have years. fun. Yeah, right. Do what you. Why do young people want to get into a long term relationship at 17, right. 18 years old? You not already had your mom and your dad down your damn back telling you what to do. And now, now you, you want to put another motherfucker on tell you yeah. what the fuck to do. Live your life. Fuck a relationship. Fuck these people. Shit, I'm gonna sit up here. 18, 19. I'm 18, I gotta sit up under you and, and, sit up and eat your ugly ass lunch, dinner, and back. breakfast, and, and prune juice and shit. And we lay up and watch TV like we mad. No, I might want to go shake pop for pill. Okay. And you mad. And you mad. Because you got arthritis. And you want to go Fuck all it. Shit, fuck Tell her. Tell her, fuck her. Fuck her. That's my advice. Fuck her. Shit, go on about your You can get you some more good sex somewhere. And so, if you can't, hey, you better figure it out. I told that before. Did you right here? <laughs> I ain't gonna give you anything. Hey, nothing. you ain't got no disease. Nothing. You can't impregnate yourself. Nothing. 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 You better know how to do. Mm -hmm. And better make it do what it do. Better no one hold him, no one fold him. <laughs> I want you to out him. Because he showed him put uh keep me anonymous. Who? He got it on there? He did. You see who from. <laughs> you know my motto. <laughs> I'm let him make it. I'm let him make it. <laughs> <laughs> you know 
on my mind on that. I, I'm going to let him make it. Let me see. <laughs> Affair, two affairs and one outcome. Mm -hmm. I mean, like you going to be telling them. Okay, well, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna do. It. I'm gonna let your ass make it. Now, me can say your name. That's on her. So, anyway, this is the first is, name, and not the last name. This is from Jerry, and um, it is entitled Two Affair." I would see. It should have seen been two affairs because two is. Two hey, more. now, Jerry, I know this your first time writing. Might be your first time writing, but proofread. We tell y'all this all the time. Proofread this shit before you send it. Two affair and one outcome. See what you're talking about. <laughs> I ain't about to do it. See what I'm about? You want to say you bisexual? Your ass can't even read and write. What the fuck is this? You can't even put together a good paragraph. <laughs> what the fuck is this? I ain't about to do it. Ain't ain't got no damn punctuation. That's why it's going like that. See, that's supposed to say both know I'm bisexual and are and are okay with it, okay. but. Yeah, this shit right here is just terrible. I mean, read it. Here, you ain't okay. got no choice. I'm gonna Sir, do best I can. I'm finna tell you, after we do this, you take your problems, uh, you let Yana fix your life, because <laughs> if we gotta read shit like this, it ain't gonna work. Jeez. Okay, just start it up. All right. Two affairs and one outcome. All right, get this. I have two situations with my ex-girlfriend and ex-boyfriend. They are one to get back with me. Both know I am bisexual and are okay with it. Both cheated and both want to come back home. I know I've known the girl longer, but the thing is, I met her when I was 19. At the time, she lied and said she was 18. Bitch, pay attention. Sorry. When in reality, she was 14. Did you hear this? Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It was Jay-Z. Okay, great. He said... Okay, he got a girlfriend and a boyfriend. Well, he had one. Ex-girl, okay. He, they both know he's bisexual. They both was good with it. Okay. Both of them cheated on him, but now they want to come back home. Okay. He's known the girl longer, but this the thing is, he met her when he was 19 at the time, mm -hmm. and she lied and said she was 18, when in all actuality, she was 14. He's 23 now, and she's 19. Now, I'm going to read you in a minute, because I want to see a picture of her when she was 14. I, I got to see a picture of her. Okay. <laughs> She's 19 now, and they we've been communicating a lot more. Her mom knew my age, but didn't know her daughter had lied, so her mom eventually ended up telling me the truth. After wait, having wait, a long wait, conversation, wait. let me just finish, with her mom, she actually gave me permission to date her daughter. And the guy is awesome, cool, down-to-earth type of dude. We lived together for a while last year. Found out he was cheating and broke up in April 2013 after visiting Mississippi together. I guess my heart is between the both of them. Never felt what I felt before with either one of them. What should I do? Okay. Number one, okay, you said she lied about her age. Okay. But then you said her mother knew they was dating, mm -hmm. but didn't know that the girl died about eight. So her mama was fine with her fourteen year old. Is he saying that was before? Like her mama knew his mama knew they was dating, and she sat him down and told him her real age, and then she condoned it. So did he? So meaning he kept dating her after he found out she was fourteen, or he didn't find out until what the fuck? Okay, either way it go, that was a to catch a predator move. How how you? That she was fourteen. I don't, I'm not, I'm not, I'm, I'm lost on them. Because at first you said you didn't know, like she lied, like you didn't know. Mm -hmm. And then y'all broke up. But then you said your mama let, let or her mama told him, him the truth. And then her mama condoned said that it shit? was okay. So did he still date her after that? Because that's he what it looks say, like. He didn't say, but it sounded like what it sounded like. Before we get into what you should do, ah. let's get into you dating a 14 year old and didn't know it. I really need you to update us. And I want to see what this bitch used to look like when she was 14. Because, you know, it is some girls out here who That's what I was going to say. Now, I, you really can't say that. Because, and then, and they look 18. Right. And then you got to think about it. When you beat somebody today, you don't ask nobody for their ID. Nobody does. Mm -hmm. You just you, you take them for what? Yeah. And I also want to know. So, if I can her see mama, how maybe if he was tricked. Okay, I understand that part. Right. But I also want to know when her mama. You can tell when somebody ain't 18. I got damn. 
I want to know what the fuck's job is. If she was 18, that means she can lead how she want to. How the but hell if you her mama comes down, then her mama was probably letting her do whatever she wanted to do. I'm just trying to figure out how you didn't know she was at school when she was 14. How you didn't smell cookies on her breath when you kissed her? My house. <laughs> She's 14. 12 year olds out here wilding out harder than I am. So imagine her at 14. She probably. Now, I ain't gonna lie. I'm judging now. I, I really am. I'm okay, judging. But, you see the. <laughs> okay, I also want to know. When her mom told you she was 14, did you stay Stay and did you finish, you know, and then did y'all break up? That's did you one. break up so with her So I'm going to need then. that. So until I get that information, I am judging. Okay. I'm judging. I Technically, I really can't give you no advice because I want to know what the fuck is going on. Yeah. And then, I, I mean, I'm going to give some advice on who you should be with, but I feel like this. And this is just my personal opinion. I, I don't date exes. If I left your ass in the past, I'm not going to be in a relationship with you. I might fuck you. I might get you a little bit. I might give me a little piece. I might give me a little. I give me a little taste. But I'm not gonna go back Be with you to that, I left to you that for, a for a reason. See, I'm, 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 I'm skeptical about shit like that. If I feel like we, especially if we ended the bad turn, right. I don't give a damn how many years. It's still gonna be in the back of my mind what you did, how you did it, right. and what went on. So it's not gonna allow me to move on or move forward with you. So. I wouldn't go back to the age. I just move on with my life. And the fact that she lied to you about her, about age, her age, I wouldn't even want to fuck with her. Exactly. That would have killed the fuck. Like, this bitch 14, bitch, you could have got me a hundred kids. Damn, both of them cheated on you. I wouldn't even want to deal with nobody who cheated on me. I mean, I know a lot of people say once she was still cheated, I don't know how you feel about that, but I could. I just feel like you, if you cheat on me, fuck it. You done fucked up. You, you that means you didn't want me. You done broke you the lease. Take you whoever you, you cheated with. Out. Period. It's Period. <laughs> That's going to be our new thing. Period. 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 It's over. It's over with. I don't want to hear nothing from you. Period. It's done. It's over with. Done. So, so you should my go back and one on. But, check, but still, I don't know what the fuck going on with this little 14 year old. And who the fuck? Tell me a picture of her mama, too, because what the fuck was she thinking? <laughs> You don't get nobody no permission to date your fourteen year old daughter. First of all, you don't get your permission. She's Mexican. She looks Mexican in that picture. That might mm -hmm. be the kind of shit. Yeah, that's what they do. I'm sorry, them. Mexicans. If we got into Mexicans, that yeah. might be the kind of shit y'all do. Cause I, I'm, <laughs> I can't get out with it. I'm sorry. 14, 18, I find out you're 18, you finna be picking up people about the flow. Or you gonna be in jail for trying to date my fourteen year old child? Mm -mm. Bitch, you stupid. Mm -mm. Hear it, as Chuck say. Hear it. <laughs> I don't like no grown ass kid. Hear it. <laughs> oh, that damn Chuck. <laughs> well, since I done fucked up, <laughs> then fucked up the shit. I done fucked up, up the done church's like, money. That was old ass emails from Mr. Miles in the way, which was probably done months and months ago. Them probably folks probably saw that on goddamn problem. So, since we have. New motherfucking email address, and you have any motherfucking problems, go ahead and send us an email right quick to Mika and Miles at Yahoo.com. Since y'all want us back so bad, send us some goddamn emails. No problem is too small. No problem is too big. And we're going to answer that shit here on our new channel. Make sure y'all tweet this shit and all that good Make shit. Make sure y'all share and subscribe. Share and subscribe. <laughs> and we don't want to hit no excuses. Period. Period. Nothing. Period. Okay? Period. Um, make sure y'all follow me on, um, Twitter at Mrs. Miles and y'all, wait, I always do that. <laughs> follow me on the Twitter at Messy Miles, that's Messy underscore Miles, and follow her on the Twitter. At Glam Bam, that's G-L-A-M, capital B, H, capital A, and capital M. And Keeping It Real has a, um, Twitter, Twitter page, page too, but I didn't forget what it was. Oh, it, wait, wait, wait. You shouldn't even shot the day if you have all your shit together. Don't come if you ain't prepared. Don't do it. But just not on the I'm keeping it real. Yeah, keep it real with me. No, asshole. I'm talking about the Twitter. Oh, I've been saying, I ain't. I ain't like, what's the name? You know what the moment niggas say, keeping it real? Keeping it real. <laughs> keeping it real? I don't know. I forgot. Y'all, this is just, oh, we. Well, you know. Yeah. Do what y'all want, so. Bye. Do what y'all got. This. <laughs> <clears throat> Check out Luther and the leather jacket. Check out right there, Jim. Excuse me, miss. That's when Luther had lost her weight from AIDS because he got skinny. No, he, was, he did not have AIDS. Oh, I heard. I heard he had uh, AIDS on three. Uh, he could have been because quite as kill. He's supposed to be dating Freddie Jackson. They're supposed to be secret love. And you know, Freddie Jackson looks sick now. He still alive, too? Yeah, but have you seen him? Mm -mm. Ooh. <laughs> Wow. Yeah.
Goddamn. Google them. I just want you to get an image. <laughs> and when you see Freddie Jackson. <sighs>